What's going on everybody? My name's Ryan or Tootie and today I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 abilities in Balloons Tower Defense 6 that you guys should definitely be using. Balloons Tower Defense 6 has a lot of different unique abilities and powers that you can use to help boost your balloons career and help you destroy all of those pesky balloons on screen. But what are the best ones? What should I really be trying to, you know, focus on? And overall, what's really worth it? And today I'm going to be showing you what I think are the top 10 towers. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Number 10, the Wizard Lord Phoenix. Coming in at number 10, everyone, is the Wizard Lord Phoenix. Now, the reason he's not higher up on this list is because he's pretty expensive to get. He's the middle wizard tower and all the way up, the first one's gonna be 4,000, but the final cost is $64,000, which is incredibly expensive. Another downfall to this upgrade is once you use the actual power of the upgrade, you lose your wizard tower and he turns into the phoenix flying around. So you lose a little bit of firepower and the cooldown on it is also exceptionally long. But what you get for that is an incredibly powerful tower. For example, let's go ahead and we're going to send ourselves some ZOMGs right our way. So we're going to go ahead and throw some ZOMGs and once we use the ability, boom! As you can see, you lose your Phoenix and the Fire Tower, so they kind of combine. But as you can see, they do a lot of damage, shooting up fireballs, flying around the map, causing a ton of craziness. And as you can see, they do a decent job of popping those ZOMGs and the ability's still there. Like I said though, it leaves a lot to be desired because you lose two towers to combine into one, and on top of that, well, it's a really long cooldown, so you're not going to be able to just spam it and use it all the time. That's why I put this tower at number 10. Number 9, Pop and Awe. So for number 9, guys, I decided to go with the Mortar Tower, Pop and Awe, because this ability is really, really good as a support tower. It's the middle path. Again, you go all the way up, you get Pop and Awe, which is already a really powerful tower all on its own. But it also gives you ability that stuns balloons on screen. So if we go ahead and we go, let's do, let's do like a two spacing and let's do like send 10, right? So if we send, you know, 10 Moabs and we use the ability, it's going to stun all balloons on screen for a super long period of time, right? So it's pretty good, but as you can see, it's not powerful on its own. That's why it's not really high up on the leaderboard but it's still really good as a support tower and it can definitely come in handy. One big problem with it though, is you're not gonna have a lot of luck when it comes to bad balloons, right? And so super late game is not gonna give you that much benefit, right? It doesn't stop them at all. And it really is kind of useless in the super late game. But when it comes to just normal balloons, it's great, but I feel like there's a lot more towers that kind of help with that instead. So that's why I have this up on number nine. Moving on, number eight. Carpet of Spikes. So guys, for number eight, I decided that I wanted Carpet of Spikes to be there because honestly, Carpet of Spikes is a really powerful ability, right? It's relatively cheap to get. I mean, once you get it, it's pretty good. And Carpet of Spikes, well, Carpet of Spikes constantly goes out. That's not the right one. We're gonna try that again. We're gonna, um, I have to wait for the spikes to go. Carpet, of, wait. Oh, Spike Storm. I want it to be Spike Storm. Number eight is Spike Storm, Sam, sorry. So, um, number eight, Spike Storm. Spike Storm is an incredibly powerful ability for relatively low cost. To get there, you have to get faster production, even faster production, Moab Shredder, and then Spike Storm, which only costs five thousand dollars and it allows you to spread out all the spikes all over the map and it saved my butt more than once and it's relatively cheap that's why i like to use it and it's also pretty spammable so if you're getting rushed by a lot of balloons that you really don't know how to deal with for example you're getting rushed by a whole bunch of zebra balloons that are just coming out of nowhere you can go ahead and you can just rush your spikes and it's going to help clear out a ton of them but as i just said it's not going to destroy all of them and that's why it's still only eight on the list but for being such a cheap tower and being able to just be readily accessible, it's pretty awesome, and that's why it's on the list. Moving on, number seven, Balloon Sabotage. So for number seven, I decided Balloon Sabotage to be the one to go to because it's kind of like Pop and Awe, except just a little bit better. So it's, again, it's at the middle one, actually, and Balloon Sabotage, it only costs $5,000. The reason I didn't go with Grand Saboteur is because that cost $23,000 and you really don't get anything extra. I mean, Moabs spawn in a partially damaged state and it lasts for a little bit longer, but that's a lot of money. And I think this upgrade by itself is still really good. For those of you who don't know what it does, is it slows everything by half 
for 15 seconds. All new balloon spawn. So if you see, let's see, let's go ahead and we can spawn a bunch of these Moabs. As you can see, that's going to be really fast. But when you use this, all the Moabs are going to be spawning at half speed for 15 seconds. This ability comes in great. It is really powerful and honestly, I would highly recommend you pick it up because it's super cheap and honestly, I love it. It looks, it's just great. Perfect, amazing. But we still got a lot more to cover, so moving on. Number six, Glue Strike. We're coming in right in front of the Balloon Saboteur is the Glue Strike. The Glue Strike is really awesome because it slows and gobs all balloons on the screen. And you know what? It's great, you know? Glue Strike, it only costs $3,000 to get it, and it puts glue on all types of balloons. The reason I think this is better than Balloon Saboteur is because if you get something, for example, you get corrosive glue on this upgrade, when you have a whole bunch of balloons spawn in, for example, you get rushed by a bunch of pinks, once you use this ability, well, it's actually going to end up popping all the balloons while you slow them, and for a pretty cheap price on top of that. So overall, I think it's a fantastic upgrade, relatively cheap, and that's why it's so high on the list. Next, at the halfway point, starting at number 5, we've got Homeland Defense. Homeland Defense is an amazing tower because, I mean, you guys know I use it all the time because of its amazing ability Call to Arms, but on top of that, Homeland Defense. Now, Homeland Defense is the same as Call to Arms. It costs $43,000 more. The reason I think it's better than Call to Arms is it lasts longer and it covers the entire screen, allowing all monkeys to attack faster, stronger, and overall makes them all super powerful at a relatively low cooldown, allowing you to do a lot. The one problem with this tower, though, is it's a support tower, so you can't really do a lot by itself. You're going to need something to help you with it, but it was paired with the right tower can be completely and utterly destructive. Moving on. Number four, Plasma Monkey Fan Club. All right, guys, I know you guys might not agree with me on this one, but I think Plasma Monkey Fan Club is an incredibly powerful ability, if not one of the strongest. It costs $54,000, and that's probably why it's not higher up on the list, is because it's so pricey, but it's super duper powerful. Another reason it's not super high on the list is it requires you to buy a bunch of extra towers to go along with it. So it kind of, you know, it makes it so you don't have a lot of space. It takes up a lot of room, really expensive, kind of tedious to get. But once you do have it, it's incredibly powerful. So I only have this one and these are all normal dart monkeys. So if you can see, if we sent a whole bunch of Moabs, no chance. Look at that, no chance whatsoever. But if we use the Super Monkey Plasma Fan Club, Boom! It makes quick work of all of the balloons. Only like one got by, right? So it's really, really strong and can help you in times of need. But the other problem is on the downtime, you now have a whole bunch of worthless monkeys that aren't going to actually do too much for you. So that's why it's not higher up on the list, but it can definitely come in handy in a pinch, guys. Moving on. Number three, Super Maelstrom. Super Maelstrom is one of the most underrated towers in the entire game, in my opinion. It is incredibly strong and allows you to do almost anything with its almost infinite range and popping power. It's just, it honestly can't be rivaled sometimes. So here, we're going to put it down on the middle of the map, okay? And we're going to go up, a, and it only costs $16,000, right? So for example, if we get a whole bunch of ceramics, right? Look at all these ceramics. When we just use this ability, instantly pops all of them. Look how many, that was 15,000 balloons. And it's not just that, look at this. Look at all these Moabs. Look at all of these Moabs. Boom, we just use this ability right like that, and boom, it pops all of them. This tower is super crazy overpowered. For only $16,000, it only already popped 120,000 balloons already. This tower is a must have in almost every situation. It's $16,000 and I highly recommend it. And that is why it's number three on the list, but it's gotta be beat out by the next two on the list, everyone. But I, this is probably one of my favorite abilities personally. Moving on though, number two, the Sarbama. That's right, everyone. I don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but the Sarbama is insane. Absolutely crazy. Because mainly, its whole thing, this path, is all about the upgrade for this bomb, okay? Its entire purpose, the entire purpose is for this ability, is to have this bomb. Basically, it's, a, it's just a wipe. Just wipe the whole map and let us start over. It, I mean, look at this. Look at all these OMGs, right? All these OMGs showing up. 
and you need to be able to, oh no, there's no way I can deal with that, okay, boom, it stuns them and does insane massive damage, look at that, they're already broken, and by the time they get to the end, I'm gonna be able to use the bomb again, that's how crazy this is, right, I mean, it stuns them, it does massive damage, and it's on a relatively low cooldown, and on top of that, it, the tower itself is super duper good, look at that, it's already popped nearly 400 thousand balloons or is that four million i don't know that's insane either way and that's why this tower is number two and almost the best ability in the game but it's beaten out by number one everyone which is the best tower in the game by far and for the moment you've all been waiting for the number one tower in balloons tower defense six for the best ability goes to ultra boost that's right everyone the ultra boost is by far the best ability in the game it is, however, incredibly expensive, coming in at $129,000 on hard difficulty. But that being said, it is by far the best and worth it because it allows you to ultra boost towers for insane crazy attack speed, guys. Just to give you an idea of how crazy this is, okay? Just to give you an idea, let's, let's see. All right, we got this bomb tower, right? Normal bomb tower. Let's do recursive cluster, bomb blitz, bigger bombs, heavy bombs. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna send a whole bunch of ceramics. Okay, here's all the ceramics, okay? Ceramics, they're, they're getting by. You know, we, look at this. All these ceramics, they're getting by, right? We can't really deal with that. That's just not working, okay? However, what if we got Ultra Boost? And what if we just ult, ult, just Ultra Boosted this? You can Ultra Boost it a total of 10 times, right? So we're gonna do that. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then for the final one, that is 10 Ultra Boost. Let's try this one more time with all those ceramics. They don't stand a chance anymore being this Ultra Boosted. Look at that. They don't stand a chance now that it's fully Ultra Boosted against them. Look at this. Absolutely disgusting how powerful this becomes once it's fully Ultra Boosted. Look at it. Look how powerful it's become. Look how many balloons it's popped. Look at that. It's absolutely insane. Ultra Boost is the best ability in the game by far, in my opinion. So, what did you guys think? Did you guys enjoy this type of video? Do you guys want me to do more top 10s in the future? If you do, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and comment down below. I'd love to know, what are your top 10 abilities of Balloons Tower Defense 6? Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more awesome content. Bye, everybody. Whoa!